Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the role of T lymphocytes in cell mediated immunity. In the last video we looked at how antibodies are produced by B lymphocytes. The role of antibodies in our immune system is referred to as humoral immunity. Antibodies bind to molecules on the surface of pathogens such as bacteria. These molecules include proteins and polysaccharides and scientists call these molecules antigens. Now your immune system recognises the antigens on pathogens as foreign or non-self and this triggers the immune system to produce antibodies against them. Now a key idea you need to understand is that your own body cells do not trigger an immune response. That's because your immune system recognises your body cells as self, in other words not foreign. So in this video we're looking at the roles of T lymphocytes and scientists call this cell mediated immunity. T lymphocytes are produced in the bone marrow but they then migrate to the thymus gland in your chest. Once in the thymus gland the T lymphocytes mature before being released into the bloodstream. On the surface membrane of T lymphocytes we find the T cell receptor. The job of the T cell receptor is to attach to an antigen and each unique T lymphocyte has a unique T cell receptor. Because there are millions of unique T lymphocytes there will be a T lymphocyte which can attach to every possible antigen. Ok now a key idea you need to understand is that T lymphocytes can only recognise antigens which are on the surface of other cells. There are four situations where this can happen. The first situation is when a cell is infected with a virus. During viral infection antigens from the virus are attached to MHC molecules and presented on the surface of the infected cell. The second situation is when a mutation takes place in a normal body cell turning it into a cancer cell. Cancer cells often produce proteins which are not produced by healthy cells and again these abnormal proteins can be attached to MHC and presented on the cell surface. In the third situation cells or tissues have been transplanted from one person into another. In this case the antigens on the transplanted cells will not be identical to the antigens on host cells. The host immune system will identify these antigens as non-self or foreign. And lastly when a macrophage engulfs a pathogen the pathogen's antigens are displayed on the macrophage surface. Now in all of these cases the cells are acting as antigen presenting cells and in all of these cases the displayed antigen can be recognised by a T lymphocyte provided that the T lymphocyte has the correct T cell receptor for that specific antigen. Ok now there are several different types of T lymphocytes. We're going to start by looking at T helper cells which carry out a range of functions. I'm showing you here a macrophage which has engulfed an antigen and presented it on the cell surface. For example this could be an antigen from a cancer cell, a transplanted cell or a pathogen such as a virus. A T helper cell with the correct T cell receptor now attaches to the surface antigen. At this point the T helper cell is activated and undergoes mitosis producing identical clones. The activated T helper cells also produce cytokine molecules called interleukins. These interleukins can trigger phagocytes to increase their rate of phagocytosis. The interleukins can also stimulate B lymphocytes to divide by mitosis and we looked at how that takes place in the last video. T helper cells can also activate another class of T cells called cytotoxic T cells or T killer cells. Cytotoxic T cells identify abnormal cells, for example cancer cells or cells which are infected with the virus. The cytotoxic T cell attaches and releases a protein called perforin. By forming holes in the cell membrane Perforin triggers the destruction of the abnormal or infected cell. Now some T helper cells form T memory cells. T memory cells are long lived and can rapidly differentiate into cytotoxic T cells if the body is infected with the same pathogen again. Ok now there is one final group of T lymphocytes. These are called T regulator cells. T regulator cells downregulate the immune system once the pathogen has been destroyed. They also help to ensure that the body does not attack self antigens. By doing this T regulator cells reduce the chances of an autoimmune disorder 
such as rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the roles of T lymphocytes in cell-mediated immunity.